Good morning. Monday morning. Time for a prayer and coffee. John 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. I think most days we don't, we still don't fully comprehend it all. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's ways are so different from our ways of thinking, our way of planning, our way of even looking at things that if we're not careful, we'll miss him. In Luke 2, 1 through 5, it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And Joseph with Mary started making his way to his hometown of Bethlehem. It says he, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And in the hustle and bustle of everyone in Israel trying to get to their hometown, their birthplace, no one noticed a young pregnant woman and her carpenter husband making the journey to Bethlehem. No one comprehended what was about to take place. The greatest birth in human history. And hardly anyone noticed. And so it is today. With all the end time prophecies being fulfilled in our world right now. In Israel right now. If we're not careful. If we're not watching and listening. We'll miss what God is doing in his church. Birthing in his people. The greatest move of God is about to sweep this, uh, this world the greatest move in unknown overlooked places, in unknown overlooked churches, the greatest move of God has already begun. Don't miss it. Let's pray. Father, we're at the time of year that we celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus. We've read this story often, and I think we've gotten used to the way this story has been told instead of the way you want us to see it the way you want us to hear it. Jesus, you didn't come the first time with blaring trumpets and banners waving. You came unnoticed by most of the world, even by most of Israel. Lord, open our eyes to see what you're doing right now in your church. Open our ears to hear what you are saying to us, what you are needing us to hear. Don't let us miss the move of God that is happening right now just because it's not happening the way we think it should or how we imagined it would. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of our soon coming King, Jesus, we pray.